it looks as though the Don Anthony Yard is coming back to boxing. I've been wondering what's going on with Anthony Yard. I ain't heard from him in a while. Anthony Yard is from the light heavyweight division and he is signed, as I know it, to Frank Warren, Queensbury Promotions. And before Frank and Queensbury got into cahoots with the Sheikh, Anthony Yard and Frank were having some disputes about his contract. That's what I heard. And it seems to be the case because I'm seeing reports saying the same thing. But since then, Frank Warren has gotten good with the Sheikh and now he's getting his fighters to get paid very well. And I'm sure Anthony Yard is seeing this and thinking, well, how comes I'm not part of this action? And I don't know what's going on with that. I've seen this article in Boxing News, which says Anthony Yard set to return for October. Anthony Yard set for October ring return. Anthony Yard, one of the forgotten men of British boxing, makes his ring return on October the 19th in the Copper Box Arena. The Hackney native was last seen beating up Marco Mikolic in the same venue in February. However, he has not faced a legitimate test since a spirited effort against Artur Baturbiev in January 2023. Talks of a fight with Joshua Bawatsi have floated around for months. You really should be saying years. For months, but nothing has materialised so far. Now Yard returns on a boxer show supporting Adam Azim versus O'Hara Davis headliner. O'Hara Davis and Anthony Yard have been brethren from time. No opponent has yet been named for the 33-year-old light heavyweight who holds a record of 25 wins with 3 losses and 24 KOs. Much of Yard's idleness has stemmed from a desire to end a fruitful relationship with Frank Warren and try his luck elsewhere. With the likes of Buatzi, Craig Richards and Willie Hutchinson battling it out on rehab season cards, it would appear that was where it, the action is. Currently highly ranked with the WBO at 175, two of Yard's three losses came in good company as he was halted by Sergei Kovalev and Artur Betabiev. Lyndon Arthur inflicted a points defeat in 2020, which Yard avenged by knockout a year later. The Copper Box has become somewhat of a spiritual home for Anthony, who has boxed there seven times previously as a professional. Other boxers on the October 19 card include Michael McKinson, who fights for a IBO title, Dan Aziz, Jamie Tiskeza, I'm going to say that, I don't even know if it's right, I know he's a heavyweight, in a good heavyweight domestic dust-up, Fran Hennessy and Shannon Courtney. Fran Hennessy, I'm assuming that is the Hennessy promoter's daughter. I could be wrong, but Hennessy, you know what I mean. But anyway, Anthony Yard is looking like he's going to be on that card. The opponent is yet to be announced. I doubt it's going to be anyone of any substance because he's been out of the ring for so long. Well, he's been out of the ring since February, he's come back October. That's almost a whole year. So, with that being said, I'm expecting it to be a lesser of an opponent. I don't know what's going on with him and Frank with this dispute. He's fighting on a boxer card. Boy, boxer ain't the best. I'll be honest with you. Boxer is a very low promotional company, in my opinion, that's bringing Sky Boxing down. But he might help bring them back up. So, he might, it might be a good thing for Boxer for him fighting on their card. Do I know if he's signed to Boxer full time? I'm not sure. I don't know if this is a one off with him and O'Hara Davis. I know O'Hara Davis is on this card, and I know O'Hara Davis is a good friend of Anthony Yard. So, maybe i'm just speculating maybe o'hara helped him to get onto this card i don't know but i'm looking forward to the ring return and i'm looking forward to understanding and knowing what's going on with anthony yard going forward so i wanted to quickly just put this quick video out here i'm probably going to do a fighter profile on anthony yard in the future but for now i will see you in the next video